Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the game Istanbul. If you'd also like to know how to play this game, I have a separate video for that. First, let's get it ready on the table. I'll be setting it up for three or more players. If you are with just two, please check the rulebook after watching this video for what you have to add. We start with making the game board. Take out all these tiles. If you've played it often, you can just shuffle these and put them in a 4x4 rectangle on the table. But if this is your first game ever, it's a good idea to place them as it's suggested by the rulebook. In the top left comes the Great Mosque. To the right of that, the post office. You can immediately already put the four little wooden cubes on the top uh, on the bottom row. Then the fabric warehouse to get red resources. And finally on the right, the small mosque. Next row. On the left comes the fruit warehouse for the yellow resources. Then the police station. Then the fountain. And at the end, the spice warehouse for the green resources. Row number three from left to right again. The black market, where you can get blue resources. The caravansary, but you don't put any cards on it. Next, the small market. And on the right, the tea house. Finally, the last row of tiles. On the left goes the Sultan's Palace. Then the big market. Next, the Wainwright. And the very last tile on the bottom right is the gemstone dealer. Done! This is the game board. Now let's get out the most important items. The gems, the red rubies. If you are playing with three people, put three gems here on the great mosque. Three on the small mosque. And three on the Wainwright down here. If you are with four or five, you put that many rubies on the Wainwright, but only four on each mosque. There are more gems to place. They go on the palace and the gemstone dealer. Let's go for the gemstone dealer first. You start on the last space and work your way forward, like this. Look at the board for where you have to stop. I'm playing with three people, so my last ruby goes on the space that says three. Then I do the same for the palace. I start at the back and put a ruby on every space. When I reach the one that's for three players, I stop. I've got some rubies left, but they can go back in the box. We also have to fill up the markets. That's what these little boards are for. Some are lighter colored and some darker. The light ones are for the small market. Shuffle the little boards and place them faced up as a stack on the small market. Do the same with the darker tiles. Shuffle them and these can be stacked on the big market. The last thing that goes on the board are the bonus tiles, these ones. First separate them by color. They go on the mosques and each space will tell you which color goes where. Since I'm setting it up for three players, I don't use any tiles that show five resources at the top. They can go back in the box. With the rest I make a little stack for each color. I'll take these red ones. Four resources on the bottom, then three resources and two resources on top of the stack. And this red stack can go on the red space here. I do the same for the other three. I'll take green. Four, three and two on top. They go on green. Then blue tiles, four, three, 
2, on blue, and finally yellow. I make a stack and place it on yellow. We've got some items to place around the board. You have this deck of cards. Shuffle it and place it somewhere next to the board. And then you have money, the liras. Make a supply somewhere close to the board. If you want, you can separate the coins, but you don't have to. You also have two dice. Put them on the table. It's time to take out everything for the players. Everyone gets one of these wheelbarrows. But you have to take out the three strips in them. These ones. They go on the board with the Wainwright. All three strips and every player has to do this. You have to pay to get them during the game. Then pick a color. I'll go for yellow, so I get everything in yellow. I have this information board that shows a little yellow around the sides. I'll place this next to my wheelbarrow. I get four yellow cubes. They go on the leftmost spaces of my wheelbarrow, like this. I have a yellow little column. This is my family member. It goes straight to jail. Put it on the police station on the board. It's the same for every player. And finally some yellow discs. One is a little bigger and it has a person on it. This is me during the game. One of the thinner discs goes next to the board. I have to earn that during the game and so do the other players. But the rest of the thin discs can go on a stack at the fountain and the big disc goes on top. The other players also start here like this. Who will be the starting player? For now that will be me so I take this token and place it near me. That means I can take one card from the deck and two money. The player to my left can take one card and three money. And player number three gets one card and four money. If there were more players they would get one more money than the person to their right. You can look at your card but don't show it to the others. To finish the setup you have to place these two columns, the black one and the purple one. I'll start with this one. I roll the dice. It shows this number. I can find the same number on one of the boards here. So this column goes to this location. And then the other one. Roll the dice. This is the number, and that number is also here on the board, so that column goes there. Done! You are ready for the first round of Istanbul. If you'd like to know how that goes, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching this setup, feel free to leave a comment, and see you for the next one.